All right, how's everything going, folks? Um, let me introduce you to the latest project. So here's my FC. I don't really have any videos of it online. I have a lot of stored footage, but I don't have anything online. But it's my FC, it recently crashed, and so I put in this cage kit's front end, which needs to get painted, but today's project, well, the recent project, I should say, is wiring in a Microtech to replace the Mega Squirt. Two very similar ECUs. Um, now I'll show you, geez, I can't even see anything. Let me turn on the camera flashlight, one second. Don't go anywhere. All right, let me bring you in here. So you can see I started. Here's the Mega Microtech. And then there's the Mega Score harness. And we're just kind of like making everything go over to the Microtech. Two very similar platforms. Here's the Mega Squirt that I was using. Um, so this Mega Squirt is actually an MS1. Very old tech. It did work. What happened was, and the reason why I'm replacing it, is because, well, uh, let me put it this way. It bricked itself. It's the easiest way to explain it. Um, I was taking it. Taking the car to Grid Life last season, uh, 2022, and it was the end of the season, whatever. You know, it was going to be a cool trip. We, we, we were camping it out. It was an awesome trip. We had a blast either way. Um, I just wanted to get it there because Rob Don was there. Would have been sick. But um, we were having that. The morning of the event, we were having uh, a dude tune this thing for us. And just, you know. I didn't really care as long as it would cruise on the, on the highway, get me up to 60 miles an hour cruise. Uh, <clears throat> didn't happen. <clears throat> oh, what happened there? Uh, <laughs> but whatever. So that didn't work out. And in the end, like we limped it back home. It was like literally rolling anti-lag. It was, and it was, the timing was just completely off. I don't know what happened with the whole uh, tune or whatever, but I don't even know if the maybe the timing, um, maybe the, the crank angle sensor right here, maybe this got rotated while we were driving or something, and I don't know. We, we don't know exactly what happened, but I can't remember if that was loose on us or, or whatever, but, and the car overheated, which was sketchy because it got hot, hot, but it ran on the way home, and so, <laughs> whatever. We're just hoping that this motor lives, um, but anyway. Back to the actual topic at hand, um, we want to get this thing running again. And I've, so I bought a uh, Microtech LT8S off of Rogue Speed Performance. It's off of a customer's car. It's a running ECU. It has a tune for 13B. It's set up for 13B. Um, I believe it's a stock port 13B with a turbo setup. The ECU was set up for 1,000cc injectors, uh, Graham's Performance injectors, which is exactly what I have in this for primaries, which is the only thing it's ever going to need. So um, we have those uh, injectors in there. We've got uh, the new pulley on here so I can actually time the motor correctly. And uh, because on the stock pulley, my they used paint for some reason, and the paint was completely gone, so I had no clue what the hell I was doing. But now we've got hard hard indented uh, markings so we're good there I get I still have to time the motor to see where it's at because as you can see on the crank angle sensor it's all the way to this end um, something was weird with the tune and the the reference between the ECU and the motor was off so we that just kept pushing it and pushing it until it lined up so whatever um, yeah let me catch my breath I I'd like to ramble and blab and I, had to, I forget to breathe. But so the motor's basically all, all there. Um, it ran, ran for a couple miles and back. <laughs> it just needs the Microtech. So let's go over that now. Um, I'm going to transition this into a, uh, a screen view. All right. So this diagram right here is the wiring for the Megasquirt MS1 ECU with a 13B setup. This is exactly how my setup, my previous setup was supposed to be with the Mega Squirt, but I did notice a few issues, which I will later address. Um, but when it comes to this, so this is the Mega Squirt. Let me show you what the Microtech looks like. So here's the Microtech. 
know, here's the wires and whatever. Same same stuff, you know, just wires. And then here's the pinout. So you can see, like, when it comes to, like, uh, fuel pump, water temp, oxygen sensor. Um, when it comes to air, air temp sensor. All, and the, the TPS is, are all three wires. They're both three wires, I should say. So um, it's just a matter of getting getting everything set. So very similar ECUs is what I'm trying to say. Um, with these ECUs, you know, everything is pretty plain simple. I have the whole wiring schematic here. Uh, you see IGN output zero. Let me, this one here. That's the leading, and then three and four, which are these two. Terrible rating, but it's okay. Um, those are, the first one is the leading coil, which I'll show you um, with the GoPro. And then the second one is trailing coil. I actually haven't even been using the trailing coil. I didn't have the trailing coil with the, the Mega Squirt because the leading co leading plugs do more work than the than the trailing plugs. You you can set the timing earlier, and just get that initial detonation. That's that's wrong. Sorry, I said that wrong. Um, with the leading plugs, they do 80 percent of the work, 85 percent of the work, and then the the trailing plugs do uh, just the the extra fifteen percent. They get the process started for the combustion but they don't actually create any power. The You can tell by, if you have ever seen the inside of a rotary engine, the top two spark plug holes are much smaller than the, than the bottom two spark plug holes because it's just to get the ignition system started. So, they, I, sorry, that's just your reference. Um, so as you can see here, I'll go back to the two layouts. Um, injectors, very simple. Uh, same thing with the Mega Squirt, very simple. So this is one of the issues that I have with my uh, injectors. Let me take you over to the car now. All right, so this is the view I'm gonna give you guys. You might get some background noise because I gotta move around and stuff, but. All right, so you can see, uh, according to the harness, yeah, you guys can see that. You see the blue and the green, bottom right, right? That goes according to the back here. And sorry, I know I've already chopped a lot of this out, but so we're looking at the top there. Bring it back here. All right, you see the green wires and the blue wires, which I've already chopped away a couple. But those wires there, this green wire, green and white stripe wire, that's my ignition coil wire. Yeah, so something is not right with uh, whoever made put this together. They didn't use the Aaron Cake method. So now we're back at the pinout and wiring diagram of the Mega Squirt. So you can see that here we have green, green, blue, blue. Let me write. Let me talk. Show you what I'm talking about. These ones here. Those ones go to secondary and primary injectors, right? Well, let's take a look over at the ECU wiring. And I'll show you that's wrong. This diagram isn't 100% to what I have in the car right now, which is very frustrating. So what, I, what this means is I'm going to have to do some tracing. So now if you guys look here, uh, let me draw what I'm showing you. So here's my leading coil. That's the only coil I have in this car right now. It takes one fucking wire. And it's right here in the center. Mm, let's look back at the, uh, with the, using the GoPro. And it's right here in the center. Mm, let's look back at the, uh, with the, using the GoPro, let's look back at uh, what it actually is on the ECU. 
So this green white strip wire is in the center there. This blue white strip wire, this blue wire wire here, that's uh let's go to the microtech that connects to the blue wire there. Yes, I already labeled this. Oh look, it says TPS. That doesn't even make sense. We get and so now we have these blue wires here, the blue white stripe wires, which doesn't add up to what this layout says. This pinout says two blue, two green. I have four green. Now I have three green and a black in the center, which was actually a white wire, which I chopped because that went to the crank angle sensor. It was one of these shielded wires. So I don't have the exact uh, setup that Aaron Cake has. So I'm just kind of just going to have to trace these wires. I'm going to need someone to, I'll just do, do a voltage tracing basically. So what I'll do is I'll apply a voltage to um, one, one of the wires for the injector. And then I'll just ground out over here. And if we hear a click, then it activates it. So that's, that's my plan. Um, either that or I'll just actually take the connector off and I will um, just apply a voltage to the connector itself. And then when I see the voltage in the harness pin, cut that out and that I'll mark which one that is. Just label it. So that's the whole process with uh, transferring from one ECU to another. You gotta have, you gotta make sure that um, when you're doing this though, you have ECUs that are fairly compatible. I got lucky that um, I just found this used Microtech from Don over at Rogue Performance. Uh, it, it just happened to work out that they're very similar ECUs. Um, and then hopefully this one just doesn't brick itself. That would be that would be awesome. So that's the whole process. Um, I'll kind of film a, little, a couple clips of the, the process, but there's nothing really much to see. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll definitely, uh, let you guys know if there's any, like, hiccups I have or, uh, like, what I find, for sure. So, as a fill-in clip and a catch-up clip, so I don't sound like an idiot, um, I have the wiring a little bit wrong when I was talking about it earlier. The crank angle sensor wire is two ground wires and two signal wires. That's it. I had this white wire here as a power wire. It's actually still hooked up to the ECU as a power wire. No power is needed to, for this to send a signal to the um the ignition coil to fire so you ground these just like this this is what i was told to do by don um so it's grounded in the circuit itself and then these two are the signal wires one of these i believe the red one is like number two and this one's number one or something like that so i have those um wired up down there i started as you can see i used the those connectors and they're working great and then so after that uh, I was having issues with the injectors. So what I ended up doing was utilizing the harness that came with the Microtech. I just snipped the pigtails off of the old injectors and I ran the, these wires through the firewall. And now I'm gonna be utilizing these wires. The only thing is I want, I'm leaving them just twisted up. It's probably not the best way to test a car for running, but I just left them twisted up because I wanted to in the future, potentially switch out where I want to put each injector. Um, if I want to put the stock injectors down below, all I gotta do is switch up the, the pigtails. So it'd be super easy to switch out which injectors are where and then what, what wires connect to which. But I don't have too much extra wire play to where I can just be snipping and cutting and stuff. So uh, I just wanna you know play it safe for now. I mean, I have those, those solder connectors, but the less connectors, the better in situations like this, especially in areas of heat. I'm gonna have to wrap these like crazy, and you know, you uh, you're working on the car, and you accidentally pull on this, and then you got a you got a break in the wire. So the more wire you have there, and the more you can get it out of the way. So that's a, a little bit of an update of what I've been doing. Um, down by the ECU plug, I do have all of the connectors finished up um, with uh, with the solder connectors. They work so well. No, I'm so happy about those. Like honestly, I re I would recommend those. I just bought them off of Amazon, um, and a little assortment pack, and they work fantastic. So that's a little update. A little, I had to interject a little bit, but there's a you know clarification of the correct way I went about and the solution I found.